Hello les gars and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in a day without me. A surprisingly creepy and fun game developed by Gamescom team, published by Chili Dog Interactive and is available to you as always for a yummy and small 4 .99. So we play as Blockhead, not his real name, as we go from a seemingly innocent day waking up to what can only be told as going through the seven gates of hell. It goes from 100 to naught and back again real quick, and it's a surprisingly fun game too. So we have to solve a few puzzles, try not to die, you know, the usual in one teen's everyday life, rather than getting pubes or trying weed for the first time, <laughs> apparently. So achievements wise, they are easy enough. A lot of them seem to be story related with a couple of missables, but of course I will let you know when they are, they still are easy, so we should be absolutely fine, just fine, that's fine. That is that then, we should get this done in approximately a nice and easy and cheeky 20 minutes or less. So, with that being said then, let us begin. And we can go ahead and just start a new game there. Now what you're going to see and feel and hear, annoyingly for the next minute or two, is a um, basically your computer alarm going off. And it's a pain in the ass, but we will get to that eventually. We're going to come up to an unskippable cutscene first. Now you know when there's a good game, when there's ice cream with raspberry top it, uh, raspberry sauce on the top. <laughs> just kidding, of course, that's blowed. Oh, we just seen up that guy's jeans. So here he is, Mr. Blockhead. So we've got, the game for some reason is quite loud, probably on a, on a loud volume which doesn't help. But the first thing we can do then is we can just go ahead, grab the key on the desk, press A to pick up. If you press the left bumper once, you can also start sprinting. You don't have to hold on to it, you can just uh, press it once. So go into the next room and pick up the box and Blockhead will automatically pick up the key from the top of the bookshelf. So, when we do that, we can now go back down the hallway, go into the unopened door, into what is your parents' room, apparently. And then we can interact with the computer. We've got to input a password, and that pass password is 1985. So, 1985. Achievement unlocks. Everybody happy. So, what we need to do is delete these files from oldest to, well, now. So, it's bottom left first, which is 1700. Middle right, which is 1709 or whatever. Top left, which is 1800. Top right, which is 2000. And then 2019. And then choose to delete all these files as well. And then you can press the B button there to get your ass out of here. And there we go then. So, we are done upstairs for the time being. Uh, until the end of the game, really. So we can just head downstairs. Now what we've got to do is a couple of things inside the living room. So the first things first, we're going to pick up this chair and we're going to put it on this pentagon where the chair icon is, basically the bottom left-hand corner. And as long as you've got the blood splurting out, you should be good. So pick up the crown off the table and then put that on the crown, which is on the left-hand side of this pentagon. Not creepy at all, by the way. Pick up this item on the uh, table there and put it on the right side. Again, make sure the blood is splurting out. And then we can go into the uh, garage. Pick up the saw. And obviously this is what you do if you've got a pentagon in the house, by the way. And put it on the uh, scyther. And then what all you need to do is just stand on the top and it's going to get us an achievement. But it's also going to make our life hell. But there we go then. So that's the second achievement. Occultimate. Occultimate. Uh, well, you know what it says. Uh, to get out of this, just take all the items off and sort of put them where they can't be blood splurting anymore. So just put them as far down as you can. If you can pick everything up anyway. And that should get us out of here. So, creepy things going on. Pentagon appears in your house. We do it anyway because everything goes right when you've got a pentagon in your house, right? So we're going to head outside. Through the front door, and we got this little cutscene. A day without me is pretty cool, actually. A day without me. Where? Anyway, what we're going to do then, we are going to the, the... I mean, it's the character's left, but it's our right on screen, if you know what I mean. So, head to the character's left, and left again, as soon as you get past uh, into the neighbor's yard right here. Now, what we need to do is go down in three. So, 
follow where I do then. So we go nine, then onto six, be very careful, onto three, onto six, and then onto nine and six. And we've got to do the same thing for the next for the next bit, but everything's upside down. But it should be pretty fairly obvious. So nine, six, or six, nine, six, then three, then six, then nine. And then we should be good to go. If you end up stepping on one of the wrong ones, you will actually uh, go on fire and you'll just have to replay that bit again. But when you've done that, we should be good to go. Now we can head through the middle of the house. There we go. And then into the back left corner, we can pick up this football. Ronaldo is now at Manchester United. Never been happier. Pick up the football, slide it down the slide, and the dirt will change on the ground. So interact with the merry-go-round and the trampoline at the same time, and you should get an achievement, and you should get this cutscene. If you don't get it, just try it again. Uh, you will get it. Do not step on the flowers here, because you will burst into flames. Great trickery, but just hug the left side of the house. Do not step on the flowers, and life should be as golden as nuggets. So keep hugging the left side of the house as we go past El Flamingo. Don't worry about this puzzle, we've already done it, so we can just nip on through. And stuff's getting really weird, of course. But I, but I just got my pubes in, man. This is all I should be doing. So head to your house and go into the back garden. We're going to be interacting with the pool now. Well, we're not going to be interacting with it, but we are going to get as close as we can to the pool. Man, Americans have... Banging back gardens and backyards, don't they, to be fair. I assume this is based on an American backyard anyway. So, there we go. Uh, interact with the pool or get close to it. And then we can just head back down as we get the Nevermind achievement. Again, you only need to press the left bumper once to be uh, sprinting. I'll be sprinting or jo lightly jogging the entire time. So, heading past your neighbour's house. We're going to go for a little, a little long walk now. We're going to be heading past the church. And doing a couple of things right there. So just keep heading straight for the time being. And here is the church. Thankfully it's not the Westboro Baptist Church. Because those guys are the biggest assholes on planet Earth. So heading to the next area then. Just past the church there. And we're heading to the back. We're going to interact with the pool. And then this cutscene is going to happen. And once L cutscene is finished, if we go to this uh, barbecue right here, we can pick up the torch. Now we're going to be heading into the backyard of the church. I mean, is it called a backyard for a church? Whatever it is. Uh, whatever, the, whatever the young boys are that the priests like. Oh, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Bad joke. Anyway, heading to the church. Head to the left. Now, this is important. What we need to do, as soon as we burn all the fields of heads, because there are heads that we need to burn for some particular odd church reason, what they like doing. Now as soon as we burn the last one, there's going to be a ball, a boulder that we need to run away from. So immediately as soon as this cutscene finishes, you need to start running. So now, start running now. For the love of God, start running down the path now! Jesus Christ! What the hell? They're like Teletubbies and there's this creepy whispering going on as well. So just head down, keep heading down the street. Keep on running, do not let go, and then sort of uh, head to the right. And then we're going past down the house. Man, this is goddamn creepy. Head down in between the uh, bus or just past it. And obviously don't run into the flames on the pavement because, man, that shit hurts. Keep running, keep running. And there's basically going to be a right that we can take or sort of coming towards the four screen. <laughs> four screen, not four skin. And that will get rid of the ball. So just keep running past the cars for now. We're all golden nuggets for the time being. And then eventually, so here we are, head to, towards the bottom of the screen, keep going, and that will poof it away, and that will get us the, uh, Jock, start the engine achievement. So we need to figure out this puzzle to move on, so if you, um, hit the middle square, that resets the puzzle, hit the F on the left hand side, be careful not to hit the, as, as you can see I just did there, basically what we need to do is hit F, be very careful to walk in between both, um, platforms right there, and then choose R, I, and E, which obviously stands for fry, which is supposed to be fire. Um, so when we do that, we can now head to the left, past the bus, and up. 
And we just go in, uh, in, once again, in between the cars. Obviously not going through the flames. The fire or the flames. Because that will hurt. So we're heading the only path we can. And this is another important part then. So what we need to do, wait till this flame heads off to the right. And then what we need to do is just hide behind this uh, caravan or truck or whatever it is. And it's going to come down here. Now as soon as you see the flame go back up on the screen, like now, that is when we can start actually walking. But it's going to target you, so we need to start running immediately. I get a bit panicky and paranoid Olympics right here, but start running because it's going to start uh, targeting us. Now what you need to do is just basically make one huge big circle. So run right around the truck, not close to it, but right around the truck. And it'll be the same for the truck up here or the caravan. So make a big circle around it. And then just do this one again. Basically, we're just going to keep keep on running. You need to do this maybe two, maybe three times until the flame dies out. So it's not too bad as long as you get that running start first. So we should... There he goes. So he's just died down now. And that is that. So all we need to do now is just follow the the bloodied hands. Because, of course, that's what you do. You see some bloodied hands, you go following it. What the hell? Anyway, this isn't too bad. This is literally all we got to do is just follow the bloodied hands. So, well, follow those bloodied hands, blah. Duh. Noisy as slicey. Right, for this bit then, we need to follow the red line, but we basically just need to take the left path all the time. So every time you see the left path, even if it looks like it's straight, you should sort of know the left. Like now you obviously should know the left and your right. If you don't, just follow the video anyway. But basically, we'll always be taking the left path all the way down until we get to the end. Never take the right path because you burst into flames, boy. And you ain't no kebab. Right, so that is also extra noisy and slicey. So, what we need to do is just put all of these weird heads into the flames. Of course, be careful not to go into the flames because, as we know, flames hurt, you die, win on a kebab, etc. So, just be very careful. Pop all the monkey heads or the... I mean, I don't know what the hell they are, but we need to put all the heads into the flames anyway. So, nice. So, basically kick them like uh, Cristiano Ronaldo with his 111th goal for Portugal against Ireland the other day. Even though we did slap an Irish player in the face, but that's all cute, apparently. So, when all the monkey heads are in, now I'm not particularly sure what triggers the next cutscene. I don't know if it's just waiting or what, but I sort of just run, do circles and run on and off the eyeball right here. But, um, yeah, eventually, after about 30 seconds or so, uh, another cutscene should begin and we... Uh, oh, in fact, no, there we go. So probably a bit less than 30 seconds as my ramblings take over. <laughs> Thankfully, then, we, um, this chapter 5 is quite nice. By the way, there is actually a lot more to the game. There are a lot more chapters, but it's only up till chapter 5 that we need to get the full 1,000 Gs. So, that's obviously all I'm going to be doing is showing you the achievements rather than the full walkthrough right here. But, um, this part just takes a couple of minutes then. It's a nice, easy ride home. I mean, surely you could just nip on one of these buses or cars or something, but hey, that, that's just me. So from here we need to take, uh, go sort of towards down the screen, heading straight, straight, straight. Uh, basically we're just going to be sort of uh, nipping through a couple of vehicles.
Now we're going to be coming up to that um, floor puzzle that we've done. The one that said fire, but it, it, we actually went in the wrong location and called it fry. Yeah, this one. So head to the left up here, or head to the right. Ca character's left. Man, that bit's confusing. I'll just head straight again. And just as we get past this bus, we're going to start turning to the left. Uh, well, we need to go around this bus, sorry. So go around this bus and then start heading left um, through the garden and the grass. I think it's pretty much the only way we can go, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So we are coming up close to home now. So this is a nice, after everything we've just done, this is a nice uh, sort of end to it. And then we need to go left here, so smash all the bins over. Well, there's nobody else around, so fleck them. Head past all the uh, bunches of lorries and all that crudsters again. And I pretty think we are, I, I pretty think, I'm pretty sure we are coming up to home. Yes, we are. So here is our home and we are actually going to nip inside. So head inside right here and there are a bunch of portals we need to go through. Now the first one we need to do is go to the direct left. And that's going to unlock us the I Hate Portals achievement. Now we can just turn around and go back through the same portal we just did. Next, we need to go up the stairs, through the portal on the stairs right there. And we need to go through into the bathroom. Interact and go through this portal. Head into your bed for a cheeky little noopy noop. And after all that, well, goddamn, that is a... <laughs> that is a well-deserved sleep. But... That is that for the achievements then, guys and girls. Like I said, there is a lot more to the game, so I, j I highly advise carrying on playing because this was definitely one of Chili Dog's better published games, in my personal opinion. I really did enjoy it, and the rest of it was brilliant too. But that's it for the achievements then, guys and girls. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well. And we always had a few laughs. We always do. Uh, the whispering really creeps the crapping balls off me, so good job on that one there, Gamescom team. <laughs> Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share as well. Um, share with a friend if, it did, if you did find it helpful. Don't forget, of course, to check me out on all my socials as well. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. And by the way, a big, massive, massive, huge shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Including TimG84, Cost, and TS Chan Spange one Man, I'm so sorry I keep butchering your name. <laughs> I really apologise. Also, a big huge shout out to Dr. Mohammed as well, who continues to be a big massive fan, and I really appreciate you, buddy. You the guy. Again, thank you so, so much for watching, everyone. I shall see you in the next one. Big, big, big love.